We began tonight with breaking news. Calls and emails flood into NBC 10 News after reports of several loud bangs. This is in northeast Philadelphia and lower Bucks County. Fire and emergency units race to the scene, but it is still not clear what has happened here. Let's get right to NBC 10's Claudia Rivero, who is live on the scene in northeast Philadelphia. Claudia. Well, Renee, a very strange situation out here. You can see behind me, there are multiple crews out here, the fire department, police department, as well as crews from PICO and PGW. This is the area of Knights Road and Fairdale Road here in northeast Philadelphia. Here's what we know. At about 9.30 tonight, the fire department started getting multiple calls of what some people here describe as a possible explosion. Uh, some people I've been talking to here at the scene tell me that it actually felt like a minor earthquake, whatever it was that this point investigators have been able have not been able to determine what that uh, explosion was or if it was even an explosion but uh, people out here say it lasted only a few seconds here's what some of those folks had to say heavy tremor describe it the vibration the house vibrated several times one heavy several time vibration it sounded like something above you fell down and we looked outside to see if there was anything there, and there wasn't. We said it sounded like a, someone hit the building, like a car. It was just a shake. And next there, the cops and everything were here. And someone said a house blew up, and everyone came running out, and no one knows what it is. So again, investigators are still trying to determine what it was. I'm going to read some information. I just got an update from our uh, desk uh, back at the station. Uh, emergency officials in Lower Bucks County have also received numerous calls about a large boom and uh, the ground shaking, just like some folks were describing out here. Uh, there are reports of no reports of damage or any outages. PGW has not found any leaks at this point. Real interesting, the uh, emergency crews out here have also contacted the U.S. Geological Survey to see if this could have been an earthquake at this point, though, no reports of anything like that from the uh, U.S. Geological Survey. So at this point, we don't know what it was that happened. But again, a lot of people, it brought a lot of people out here. They're everyone trying to figure out what this was. Just a minute, but first, did you hear a loud boom this morning? Yeah, if so, you definitely weren't alone. We've been getting uh, emails, phone calls like crazy from people who say that they heard the same thing. Our John Burkett went searching for some answers. John, have you been able to figure out what that boom was? Well, Rob, the simple answer is not a clue. But we have checked with Virginia Tech's Seismologic Observatory folks. They tell us they have nothing as far as earthquakes or tremors. The only thing that pops up on their radar is some sort of acoustic signal recorded at 8.53 this morning. Now, Latha Kumar from Chester heard the boom, and she wasn't the only one. People living off Providence Roads, Huguenot, Triple Crown Roads, and as far west as Amelia and Nottaway counties report hearing the same noise. They describe it as sounding like a electrical transformer blowing up in their front yard. Mrs. Kumar says with all the wind today and rain and snow we've had, she thought the worst. It shook it a little bit, yes, it did. Um, it was pretty loud. It was almost like I said a tree had fallen in the backyard, so I went out there to look around and I couldn't find anything. Coming up at 6, hear what a Chesterfield woman does when the boom wakes her up out of a dead sleep. Reporting live in Richmond, John Burkett, CBS 6 News. Guys. It's scary loud. It's loud enough to where it makes it makes your heart stop for a second. People in a Louisville neighborhood are looking for the source of a house shaking experience. Over the past week, we have received several emails from people in Louisville about loud booms that were shaking all of the homes in the neighborhood. Yeah, and this is just a head shaker itself. 10 News reporter Jim Matheny joins us. Right now, there are not a lot of answers about what those booms are, right, Jim? Yeah, John, and that unknown, the lack of any reasonable explanation, it has people who live in that neighborhood really rattled. On a quiet, sunny afternoon at the Lashbrook subdivision, you wouldn't guess this neighborhood suffers from shell shock. I mean, it was like, it makes your heart stop for a second. Like, it's so loud, it's a noise that's like alive in the house. The mysterious booms gave Andy Wombold and his entire neighborhood its first rude awakening about a week and a half ago. Two or three o'clock in the morning, all of a sudden we heard a loud explosion. It sounded like it came from our house, like it shook the walls, it shook the floor, it shook the ceiling. 
maybe a gas line or something had exploded and our house was going to blow up. I mean, we thought it was really serious. Like a big boom, like a big sonic boom. Dwayne Jones is one of about a dozen neighbors we spoke with who echoed Wombold's story. It started about a week and a half ago, I guess. Just the whole house shakes. I've never heard anything like it. I thought maybe it was, you know, lightning or thunder or something. And when I walked outside and, you know, the stars and there wasn't a cloud in the sky, so I figured it wasn't, it wasn't that. And then, you know, the ground was kind of shaking. Blunt County deputies checked the scene and couldn't find any rock quarries blasting. We checked with the National Guard, but there were also no military exercises to cause the booms. And TVA says it had no problems with the power lines in the neighborhood. But neighbors say the booms kept sending a charge through the area for several days. Just in the middle of the night and in the morning, just all different times. I don't know, be sure to lock your doors because he knows where that, neighbor, that noise is coming from. <laughs> Yeah, really. I mean, we called the USGS. There are no earthquakes anywhere in the area. Also talked to TDOT, says there was no nearby construction projects. And it's also hard to investigate right now because neighbors say there really had not been many booms this week. So if you have a theory that uh, I guess doesn't include uh, military or TVA or anything else, we'd love to hear it, John and Robin, because right now they're really at a loss. What a head scratch. Yeah, it is. And, and it has to be so frustrating for the folks there going, what is up here? All right. Jim, thanks for sharing the mystery with us. <laughs> We're with Galveston Fire Chief Jeff Smith. And Jeff, you said you heard an explosion earlier. Can you tell me what you know about that? Where you were, where it sounded? I was on the seawall. Um, actually heard it. Uh, we had several calls come into dispatch. We sent an engine company out to investigate. Uh, the reporting party was on 42nd Street. I was actually coming up on about 12th Street. So it was clearly a very loud um, noise. We have no other report of any fire, no report of any explosions. Uh, at this point, it's either going to be an aviation aircraft or possibly a large transformer bank. But we can't, we've had no no definite cause of where the uh, where the noise came from. Do you know, okay, do you know roughly where on the island the noise came from? Uh, it was heard all the way from about 6th Street up to uh, 61st Street. So other than that, I have no report of how far west it was heard. And no reports of in, any injury or damage well, associated? Absolutely none. We, we've checked out the island. We've had, we've had engine companies out, and uh, we're unable to even locate uh, a second incident or second call of, of that. Let's go to Action News reporter Dan Cuellar, who is at the scene. Dan, this so far is a mystery. What have you been able to find out? Yes. Hi, uh, Jim. Uh, let me just first give you a picture here of the uh, equipment here. It is saturated with emergency and police vehicles. We're at the intersection of Knights Road and Fairdale, where no matter where I walk, you will see that there is emergency equipment here. Go all the way back here, John, if you can show here on Fairdale. As you can see, it stretches all the way back there, Jim. All of this investigation here, so far, they have not found the source of what happened here tonight just before 10 o'clock. But they have received hundreds of calls to 911 from people reporting that their home shook, that it felt like an explosion or something happened. They came out here looking for gas leaks. They went to the 3800 block of Violet Drive, thinking there might have been a gas leak there. That turned out to be unfounded. So far, no explanation of what happened here, but it really got the attention of a lot of people, even as far away as Ben Salem, reporting that they felt that their homes were shaking. Police radio have received a lot of calls. The police have received calls, even from CNN, asking what happened out here. But right now, they do not have an answer. A lot of curiosity. They're still going around the neighborhood, checking for something they might have missed that might explain all of this. At first, they thought it might have been an earthquake or a sonic boom. That turned out to be unfounded as well. So right now, Jim, a big mystery of what happened here in the Northeast tonight. A loud boom, home shook, but no explanation so far. Back to you.